back if you're joining me from another video, if you're joining me for the first time. I know! I have in front of me the little live pets put in my dream kitten. Now these came out and they were very, very popular with kids. Um, I've had pudding for a while. She's been in stock take. My son loves cats, absolutely adores cats. Anything cat related, hey, he'll have it. <laughs> so pudding has been waiting to get opened. Let's have a look at the box. So in the box, they have a test me mode and it says here, try me, press and hold my nose. Oh my goodness. That is adorable. So these aren't fur real friends, but I think they're trying to step into the fur real friends market a little bit. Let's try it one more time, see if there is a different one. No, it looks like she is doing the same here. So it has down here, my tail moves. Feed me from my bowl. <laughs> Looks like a bit like Garfield there. <laughs> Putting my dream kitten. I nuzzle like a real kitten. Try me, press and hold my nose. So ginger cats are Blake's favorite. So this makes it extra special and why he picked it out. He had a choice of, I believe there was a white colored one and this ginger one and he chose the ginger. So meet Pilding, your dream kitten. Meet a little kitten that loves to be loved. Pudding moves, feels and responds just like a real kitten. With a pat of the back or a tickle of the cheek, Pudding behaves in different ways. Fully interactive, Pudding is the perfect little pet that can't wait to come home with you. Now I'm actually going curious to do a video on this little kitten compared to the um, Fur Real Friends cat, which is used uh, for elderly patients in nursing homes, etc. Because I want to see how different they are. But that'll be a different video. I open and close my eyes and nuzzle like a real kitten. I twirl my tail when you pat me. I purr when I'm happy. Feed me from my bowl. I close my eyes and make sleepy sounds. All right, so let's get her free from this basket. Okay, I have putting out, and this was around her tail, which says to grab the tail and pull backwards till it goes click. I have been trying to do this, and I have not heard any click. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what's going on, to be quite honest. Now, it has her battery compartments here. So two batteries in this side, and two batteries on this side. Let's turn her on and go through. I couldn't pull her tail and go click, so we'll see if that really matters in the long run soon. It says on and off switch, collar, battery compartment, blah blah blah. Cuddle me. Caress either of my cheeks and I'll close my eyes and nuzzle into you. Okay. No? Hello? my pudding why is my pudding not working it's definitely on on something's gone wrong why is my pudding not working what's wrong with my pudding even her nose isn't working now oh my goodness this is going to be the biggest tail <sighs> this is going to be the biggest what have i done I've just taken her literally out of the thing and she's not doing anything. I don't see anything written about you must put the tail in or something like this to make it start working. You know what, I'm going to try all these things and be right back. Okay, I don't know what I did, but all I did was turn her several times from try me to on and she started working. So that is a bit of a worry actually, <laughs> when your brand new electronic toy does not start up. Does that mean there's a loose connection somewhere? However, she's going meow meow now. Her nose is kind of covered in things. So we're gonna caress her cheek. Oh, and she moves and purrs. All right, let's try to see if she moves her head to the other way when I start caressing this cheek. So she's going back to all right so both senses work she's moving her head to nuzzle into whichever side you're patting what does it try say next all right Chrissy there are my cheeks and I'll close my eyes and nuzzle into you 
Oh, okay, when, that was her happy sound. So when you remove your hand, she'll make happy sounds. All right. Please feed me. I can get very hungry while I play with you. To feed me, gently push my muzzle against the bowl. While in a position, you'll hear. While in this position, you'll hear me drinking. Release, and I'll stand satisfied. Okay. Let me get her down. Put in my darling. That is not a standing position. That is nose first drunk into the bowl. <laughs> it shows on the diagram her standing in a position. So I, I'm going to. Oh, did I finally get it? All right. So her legs are kind of sprayed like this, and her front's like this. So here's her bowl. Let's see. Look at the little tail moving, that's gorgeous. I'll move this back, hang on. There we go. Okay, she's not. Push my nuzzle against the bowl. Oh, there we go. I'll bring her around this way. Okay, so she, if I push it back in. So she can't really do it unless you are actually pushing her in, which it does say into the instructions to push her into the bowl. Which isn't the most dainty thing. Maybe they could make the bowl a bit bigger so you don't have to do that, but that is a way of making the child interact with what's going on. Oh, she sounds like she's full. Okay, so what's the next thing? <coughs> I don't want to put her to sleep yet. Pet my bag. What? Pet my bag. Bag. Back. While I'm not sleeping, I love to be pet. Gently stroke the center of my bag and watch me my tail wag. I'll purr contently and make happy sounds when you raise your hand. All right. Isn't she cute? Yeah. Yes, you are, darling. You agree. All right. So I'm going to... Let's see the ta if the tail goes. Okay, so I've got her here. I'm going to gently pet her back. It says, watch my tail wag as I do this. So I want to see. <gasps> it's going. It's so incredibly cute. Oh, it's still going. It's like a real cat's tail. You know how they do this swish swish? Okay, that is adorable. I love that. All right, so it says here special requests. Now this is kind of like um, my Zuma dog, um, if you've seen my review on my electronic Zuma dog. I love attention and every so often I will cry out and ask for one of the following. Feeding, cuddling, sleeping, back petting. If you tend to me, I'll reward you with a secret, fa secret phase. So I don't know what that is um, and I don't know what her cries are. <laughs> Here we are, attention mode. Meow, if you leave me in the sitting position, or lying on my stomach, I will occasionally cry out for attention. If you don't do anything, I will eventually get tired and fall asleep. Well, she's very vocal, isn't she? She is very, very vocal. So it sounds like she just goes meow, meow when she wants something like we were just listening to before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave her sitting here and see if she starts demanding attention. Okay, so I, she does call out occasionally. It's not an excessive cry out, though. It's just kind of like a meow, meow every so often. <coughs> so she does have her face senses. She does have her back senses. She is able to be fed by her muzzle and be cuddled. Oh, excuse me. Let's have a look what else there is. So we've done the muzzle sensor, we've done the cheek sensors. That's her name tag, so she doesn't have to be putting, if you want to call her, I don't know, Mrs. Fluffy Pants or something like that, you can call her whatever she you want to. Though there is only a tiny little area for you to write the name in. The battery compartments are in the feet. Oh, that sounded sad. Sorry, darling. Um, and her tail moves and her back sensor. So those are basically it. Those are all the senses she has and the movements she does. She effectively purrs when you pat her back or responds. Her tail wags and swishes like a real cat. 
she responds to her dish only when you basically squish her face into it. She does move her head like when you use her face sensors. Let's see if the nose one works. Okay, so that's effectively what activates this and why this needs to be <laughs> into her face. Alright, so the last thing to try is sleeping. Playing with you can tire me out. Sometimes I will need a little nap. To put me to sleep, lay me down on my back or side. I will fall asleep and occasionally snore and wag my tail when on my side. Alright, we've put her on her side. Wow, that was super duper fast. That's a really good sensor. That's a really good sensor. I'm actually impressed that that happened immediately. I was actually expecting her to meow for about a minute and then, you know, they go into that non-activity mode. But she pretty much went into that straight away. So let's bring her up and see if she wakes up. Assuming that means she's woken up, she's opened up her eyes. <laughs> so now that we've looked at putting sensor, let's look at put, putting herself. Here is her face. She reminds me a lot of Persian cats in that the, the nose is kind of right up there on the face. There isn't much defined definition into the, um, the muzzle, so to speak. Her nose is very very hard to see it's like covered covered I actually wish that the nose was larger what do you think of that guys um I actually wish the nose was more pronounced you know it might make her a bit more toyish and realistic but it is very hard to see her nose almost to the point that it looks like if she did have a nose it'd fallen off <laughs> you have to look for it there is a little mouth there which is cute I love her coloring she is not all one ginger color. Her face is this light ginger, but then when we get down to her body, it is a mixture of the medium orange on her face. She's quite loud, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have to speak over her. Whites and darker orange stripes, which I think is very, very cute. You sounded sorry, sorry sweetheart. Let's give you a pet there. Here is her underside. Again, she has a blue collar with the name tag on. So she isn't for standing up. She is not uh, one of the electronic toys that stands up and walks around. She's more of a cuddle electronic toy, which makes her ideal for children who are possibly looking for a plushy pet with bonuses, so to speak. I just had a look at the box for its age recommendation plus, because I was saying if I, a three-year-old's gonna get tired of lifting her around, they do actually recommend four plus now for me i would even go in a year older than that i would say for a five-year-old child plus because just because of her weight and that there are so many movable areas in her that um if she gets dropped a lot she is gonna break sort of thing <laughs> and that would be a shame considering she's so incredibly gorgeous i don't like when she does the sad the sad meow so this is pudding the little live pet an electronic cat toy as well as appealing to young children five plus i think she is also going to appeal to if you have an elderly parent that you wish to get one of these comfort pets for because she is realistic looking she is more the kitten type and she has so many movements it's a comfort zone for them that she will respond to your touch etc If you love electronic pets, please give this video a thumbs up. If you love toys in general, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to share. I do have a few more electronic pets reviews, um, such as uh, Robofish and some of the, you know, Ro uh, Little Live Pets turtles, etc. She just wants to say goodnight and go to sleep. Isn't she adorable? Bye-bye.